Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. Today, I'd like to show you the Sabrent Rocket 1TB NVMe 4.0 drive. This solid state drive allows you to instantly increase the internal capacity of certain game consoles, laptops, and a whole lot of other electronics gear by simply plugging it in. Now, the product is based on NVMe technology and adheres to the 2230 M2 standard, so make sure any product you're looking to add it to also follows that standard and you'll be all set. And the NVMe technology is the latest and fastest storage technology available today, so you're going to get some incredibly good speeds to store and retrieve data from this particular drive. As a matter of fact, it can deliver up to 5 gigabytes a second, which is incredible compared to SSD drives and even spinning media. It also can deliver 800 kilobits of data over the standard connection. So you're getting a drive here that's incredibly fast, it's incredibly durable, and really easy to use. Now, I was going to do an unboxing, but there's not a whole lot in the box. When you open the box, you'll find this really nice case, and inside this magnetically sealed case is the drive. And that's all there is to it. So whatever you're going to plug it into, you can pull this out of here gently, slide it into the carrier, bolt it down, and just start using it. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind, because not all NVMe technology is created equal. There's really two standards that are pretty common nowadays. TLC, which is triple layer, and then QLC, which is quad layer. And you might be wondering what the difference is. Well, this uses the TLC standard. Now, the downside to TLC is that it stores three bits per cell and you can't get as much data on the same amount of surface area with a TLC drive. The good thing about TLC drives is they're a lot more durable and they'll last a lot longer, so you can write and rewrite a lot of times to a TLC drive. It just isn't as big as a QLC drive. The QLC technology allows you to put four bits per cell, which means you can put more data on the same surface area, but it's a lot more fragile. It doesn't last as long. It doesn't have as many write and rewrite cycles. So there's a trade-off between the two. For me, the TLC is the better option because once I install it in the game console, laptop, or something else, I want it to be in there for a long time. So TLC gives me that survivability and that, that peace of mind knowing that it's going to last a long time inside that technology. The M2 standard is something else I like an awful lot. Now, there's been a bunch of different solid-state drives released over the years. There's a larger standard. There were other bigger standards. The M2 standard is small. This is a tiny drive. It's about the size of a postage stamp, and it packs a lot of data onto that little surface area. I can hardly believe that a drive this small can handle one terabyte of data. That's incredible, because just years ago, thumb drives were like... I don't know, 128 megabytes. So to have a terabyte on a drive this small that I can add to my electronics gear just gives me a whole lot more storage space. And you can use it in a bunch of different ways. There are a lot of game consoles out there that have M2 slots on them. You can put this in and load up a lot of games. It'll improve your performance. It'll improve your load times. You can also add it to certain laptops and other computers. What I like to do with the M2 drives is to use an external enclosure mount the drive in that external enclosure, and then I can connect that to my phone, my tablet, my computer over a USB-C connection and use it as external storage. Because if I'm doing video editing or I've got a lot of photos that I want to offload, I can easily move those over that USB connection to this drive and know they're going to be there, they're going to be safe, and if I want to get them back or I want to watch a movie over that connection, I can do it right off the drive because it can deliver the data as quickly as needed to keep that video streaming nice and easy. Everything you need to get started is included in the box. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. Whatever you're going to mount this in, you just pop this out, slide it into the carrier, bolt it down like I'd mentioned. If you've got some heat sink compound, put it on the top of it. But again, because it's TLC, it's not going to run as hot as a QLC product would, so you're going to get a lot of good use out of the product. And that's pretty much all I had for today. I really, really like NVMe technology. I can't imagine what the next generation of technology is going to look like, but this is much, much faster than a standard solid-state drive and incredibly fast compared to a spinning media drive. So if you're looking for new storage, go with an NVMe drive. I like the one terabyte uh, footprint and I like the M2 form factor, the 2230 form factor. So that's all I really had for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you found value in this clip.